the idea of the written resources was it, it's a different avenue for people to access them. So you might not always be able to watch a video. You might not always be able to listen to a podcast or a webinar, that kind of thing. You know, especially if you're, you're in a house and it's a busy house with lots of people in there. Sometimes you want something that you can just bring up on your phone and read and it's, they're just really short and bullet pointed and they're covering topics like sleep and that kind of thing, which, you know, we're all struggling with our sleep because our patterns are so different, our routines are so different, um, that they're just really short resources with little tips and things that might work for you, they might not, but it's nice to have the option and be able to help as many people as we can in, in a slightly different way as well. So I think it's just covering all those different mediums where we can. Are there any sort of quick tips you can give people who might be struggling in lockdown at the minute, just sort of simple little things they can maybe do if they're just struggling right now to just deal with it on a daily basis? I, one of my favourites is, is called the, the Circle of Control and it's based around cognitive behavioural therapy. Um, but the idea is um, to really make a list of things that are bothering you and put them in three categories. So things you can control, things you can influence and things that you have no control over. So for example, the, the coronavirus, we have no control over that, but the effects of that we, we could be able to influence and, and how we deal with our working space, going back into work, having family around, that type of thing. Put them into the three little boxes, uh, control, influence, and no control, and then really focusing your, your efforts on the first two boxes and forgetting about everything that's not in your control. It really does help in not just the situation we're in now, but everything that, that we could face in life, like relationship breakups, anything you can put into these little three categories and really look at how you're dealing with things. When it comes down to it, you are a charity. So if people are really getting something out of what you are doing, are they able to, to still sort of donate to help you? Absolutely. You know, we would um, welcome any donations. We're aware it's a really hard time for people and, and people will be struggling for various different reasons. So what we want to do is make sure those who need the resources can get to them. But we would, of course, welcome any donations that can be done through contacting us through Facebook or Instagram or sending us an email. You know, however people want to reach out, we'd really appreciate that. Mm -hmm.